You know, after listening to Cory Booker and Kamala Harris, this is the first time I ever really heard them talk black. It seems that they know black statistics. They can tell you about the unjust shootings of police, of unarmed blacks. They can tell you everything that's happening in the hood. But keep in mind that during their senator job, and that came out wrong, but during the period of them being a senator or being a part of Congress, not one time did you ever hear them mention as much blackness as they are now because they are now running for President of the United States. It's interesting that black people are not in the minds of politicians, not in the mind of senators, not in the mind of Congress until they want the votes of black people. And black people will then blindly follow them because of the fact that they're black. I've even heard someone say that they will vote black. And I've said in videos just recently that blacks should never vote on black. I know that that's an old rule of gambler, they always bet on black. But when it comes to politics, black always loses. Black always remain on the bottom. Blacks are always forgotten. Now, everyone had an agenda. When it came to the gay and transgender agenda, when it came to the illegal immigrants, keep in mind illegal, not, e not legal immigrants, but illegal immigrants. When it came to the illegal immigrants, when it came to women rights, the feminist movement, the Me Too movement, they all had an agenda and they fought hard for those agendas. But when asked the question, what agenda do you have for black people? The answer on both sides, that they're for everyone. Their agenda is for everyone. So in the reality, they don't have an agenda for black people. So after they finish telling you that they had no agenda that targeted specifically black people. And I hate using the term black, but for the sake of those that consider themselves or identify themselves as being black, I'm going to use the term black. So when it comes to having a specific agenda for black people, they don't have it, but they have one for the gays and transgenders. They have one for the Me Too movement and the illegal immigrants. But for the black people, they're for everyone. And they'll chuckle, they'll laugh, and then they'll begin to start talking about statistics. This number of blacks are without health care. Now, how many times have we heard health care? Every time there's an election, health care comes up. And they have to be able to manipulate their words and put health care. It reminds me of Chris Rock when he played the role when he was running for president. And they showed a part in that movie where Every neighborhood he went into, he was able to speak to the people of that particular neighborhood. When he went in the barbershop to talk to black people, he talked black. When he went to talk to the Yiddish people, he spoke their language. 
when he went to speak to the uh, Asians and he spoke their language. See, he was able to have a message for everyone to get their votes. And I'm sure like the politicians of the day, they really don't care about the people. They don't know you. And the first place they want to set up is on the breakfast club. Hillary Clinton was on the breakfast club. Cory Booker was on the breakfast club. Kamala Harris was on the breakfast club. Why did they target the breakfast club? Because the bulk of people that listen to the breakfast club are black people. The, uh, the breakfast club is now the modern day black church because we all know that whenever politicians want votes, they go to the church. You don't hear from them. You don't see them throughout the entire year. Blacks are shot and killed by each other. But yet, when it comes to election time, the politicians, the white politicians, flood the church. Now, one thing I will say that I like about Trump is that Trump really didn't need to run for president. He didn't need the money. He really didn't want the salary that they were going to pay him. And he said he was going to um, donate that money. He doesn't need it. So he gave up his business. He still got it. His son runs it. Still his. But he gave up his business to run for president to make changes. I don't know of any individual with the same mind that would put themselves through what President Trump is going through and what his family's going through to run for president just for the sake of saying I was president of the United States. Look at what this man has been going through. But in spite of everything that Trump went through, He's making results. He's able to tell you what he's done. And the media does not want to acknowledge the accomplishments that Trump made. And you have even foreign uh, countries. I was watching a video just yesterday in the UK. And they were asking how could they get someone like Trump? So you have other countries that's envying America because of the fact that America's got a president that's willing to fight. He's willing to fight and go through the fire of abuse and harassment just to make changes in this country. So Trump's got a track record. And he's about fulfilling his campaign promises whereas not one president of the past do I ever recall that worked so hard to fulfill their campaign promises they made so many promises to the black community and yet black people are still on the bottom when are black people going to wake up? So like I said, you have Kamala Harris and Cory Booker that's going to the breakfast club, that's being interviewed, and they're talking black. They're talking in a language that black people want to hear. Black people love to hear you talk about the killings and how black lives matter and how blacks need health care and blacks need housings and black. It's the same story we hear every single year. And nothing has changed. But black people still fall for the okie doke. They still fall for those political games. And still allow them to put political shackles 
on your hands, your feet, and your neck. Now, I'm wondering, will black people wake up and see that Kamala Harris, Cory Booker, or any other demon crap politician is not the way to go? This country is digging itself deeper and deeper and deeper into a hole. Now, they talk about the deficit, and I know this is off my topic. But do you realize how much money that's being paid to take care of illegal immigrants? Illegal immigrants are taking... More is being done for illegal immigrants than for the average American taxpayer that was born here in America. Not only that, the amount of money that's going toward these bogus lawsuits, these court cases, tying up the courts, chasing after ghosts that don't exist, Russia collusion and all this other nonsense, phantoms. But yet they're wasting the taxpayers' money on these bogus court cases against Donald Trump. The demon craps are doing that. And not one thing the demon craps did for the, for the people that voted for them. Since they've been in office, what can you honestly say the demon craps have done for you other than fight Donald Trump? Whenever you hear them being interviewed in the media, they can't talk about global warming without mentioning Trump. They can't talk about, you know, what their agenda is to help their voters without mentioning Trump. They can't even run a campaign trail without mentioning Trump. That's their agenda. Black people, they don't have an agenda for you. Their only agenda is to stop Trump from what he's doing. He's destroying their agenda. He's destroying their plans to rip you off. And you just can't see it. Because they rocked you bye-bye. They rocked you to sleep. So, don't trust Cory Booker. Don't trust Kamala Harris. They're going to get on there and they're going to talk black. They got, the first One of the first things Kamala Harris mentioned when she got on the breakfast club was the black colleges, HBC colleges. And she started naming people that went there and black people that went there. And, and then she had the nerve to mention the black Panthers, you know? So she's talking black. She's speaking in a language that a lot of black people want to hear. Think about that. Not one time did you ever, now when she was questioning that um that judge and she was grilling him for drinking back in high school she just like laid on that but now they're dealing with her and that weed and now you have these democrats saying like oh why are you paying attention to that you should be worried about you know her agenda or whatever nonsense like that why are you worried about weed but yet you worried about somebody's high school yearbook right so I just think a lot of games are being played I'm right now I'm just kind of sitting back watching observing you know and don't let these people get in your head man and that's what they're doing they want your votes me myself personally I'm going to vote for Trump I'm voting for Trump again I'm going to vote Trump back in again and I suggest you vote for Trump too. If you really want change, vote for President Trump. Until next time, I'm fearless.